Hello, Koi. This is your County of Koi briefing from Monday, August 16th. We were sad to report the island's fourth fatality from COVID-19 on Friday. We lost a male Koi resident in his 70s who was hospitalized on Koi and had underlying health conditions. We extend our sincere warmth and prayers to the family, friends, and loved ones for this tragic loss. The virus is spreading rapidly on our island. We are experiencing some of the highest COVID case counts since the beginning of the pandemic, including a concerning number of cases in children. From Friday through Sunday, we reported 77 cases, including 18 infections in children. More than 90% of the cases are in residents. Today, the Koi District Health Office is reporting 13 new cases, including one child and 12 adults. Four of the cases are related to mainland travel, and nine are community acquired. Eight of the nine community acquired cases are close contacts of active cases, and one has no known source of infection. There are now 221 active cases on island with three hospitalized. Since the start of the pandemic, we've confirmed a total of 931 cases with four fatalities. We have two large clusters on island right now. For more information, we turn to Public Health Preparedness Planner, Lauren Guest. Thank you, Mayor. We continue to manage two large clusters on island right now, one in an educational setting and one in our correctional center. In the educational setting, we have 37 primary or secondary cases. The Department of Health has worked with the school administration to take all appropriate precautions to prevent further spread. We are also conducting our third round of testing today at our correctional center in hopes of controlling the outbreak there. We currently have 51 primary or secondary cases in this setting. We expect to have results from the third round of testing sometime tomorrow. Thank you to everyone who has come in to get tested as our case numbers increase. Our free testing center at the convention hall experienced long wait times this morning. Monday mornings are often busy. The free testing center is open weekdays from 8 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. We will be open this Friday on the Statehood Day holiday. Additionally, the mobile testing van is available Wednesday to Sunday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at designated neighborhood centers island-wide. You can also get a drive-up test by contacting your doctor's office. There are many opportunities for free testing. A list of clinics is posted at kawaii.gov slash COVID test. Thank you, Lauren. We're bringing the new mobile vaccine van and pop-up clinics to communities around the island to make it convenient and easy. These clinics are open to everyone aged 12 and older. The mobile vaccine van will be at Kapa'a Neighborhood Center this Thursday, August 19th, Lihui Neighborhood Center on Friday and Wainiha Country Market on Saturday open from noon to 3 p.m. each day. A pop-up clinic will be held this Saturday, August 21st at Laukona Park from 10 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. No appointments are needed. Bring a picture ID. For a full list of locations where you can get a vaccine today, please visit koi.gov forward slash vaccine. Now it's time for our new segment, Ask Dr. B, where our District Health Officer, Dr. Janet Berriman, answers your questions. First question. On Friday, the CDC announced that immunocompromised individuals can get a third dose of vaccine. Who does this apply to? Thank you, Mayor. The CDC is recommending a third dose only for people with moderate to severely compromised immune systems. Examples include organ transplant recipients and those undergoing treatment for cancer or people taking immunosuppressive medications. If you or someone you know is diagnosed with a condition like this, you can now schedule a third vaccine dose with Hawaii Pacific Health by visiting wilcoxhealth.org vaccine. Wilcox is the only facility on island that is offering booster shots at this time. We anticipate expanded opportunities in the future and will provide updates as, as we have them. If you're not immunocompromised, only two doses of vaccine are recommended at this time. The next question is, if I am vaccinated but I get sick with mild symptoms, should I get tested? Yes, if you are sick, please get tested, even if you are vaccinated. The vaccines offer substantial protection from severe illness and death. If you're vaccinated, you're unlikely to end up in the hospital, but you can still get infected and spread the virus to others. If you have symptoms, even mild symptoms such as sneezing and a runny nose, please contact your doctor to order a drive-up test. 
Next question is, we are planning to go to the Big Island, meeting mainland friends who are vacationing in Hawaii. When we return home to Kauai, should we get a COVID test? I know it's recommended for mainland travel, but what about inter-island? Also, is the current surge of cases in Hawaii a reason to cancel this trip? Yes and yes. We recommend that everyone who travels off-island get tested three to five days after you return even if you are vaccinated. Many of our recent cases are from Kauai residents who traveled either to the mainland or to neighbor islands. To help keep your loved ones, colleagues, and friends safe, please get a free test. With the Delta variant causing a high level of infections on the mainland and statewide, we would recommend postponing non-essential travel, even to neighbor islands, while we endure this current surge. If we all take extra precautions, we can get our case counts under control. All right, last question. What is the difference between isolation and quarantine? If someone is a close contact, how long do they need to quarantine? Isolation refers to people who have tested positive for COVID-19 and are considered cases. Quarantine refers to people who have been exposed to COVID-19, those who are close contacts. People in isolation or quarantine need to separate themselves from others who are not sick or not exposed. Most people can do this at home, and it's a good idea to plan now in case someone in your household needs to isolate or quarantine. Isolation and quarantine are both for 10 days, including for close contacts. Mahalo, Dr. Behrman. If you have a question for Dr. B, post it on our County of Kauai Facebook page. This Friday is a Statehood Day holiday. County of Kauai offices will be closed on Friday, August 20th, along with all refuse transfer stations, the Kikaha landfill, all neighborhood centers, as well as the Waimea and Kapa'a swimming pools. Trash pickup and the Kauai bus will be operating as normal. Our free testing center at the convention hall will be open on Friday. Mahalo for wearing your mask when indoors, wash your hands, keep your distance, avoid large gatherings, and of course, consider getting a vaccine. Mahalo for helping to keep Koi safe. And remember, I got vaccinated, I got vaccinated. Aloha. <laughs>